Welcome back to Brandon's Sports Talk. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about could a professional athlete own a professional team while playing? I think that a professional athlete, as long as they're not owning a team in their league, then yes, I think that they should be able to own a team while they're playing. So, for example, Aaron Rodgers owns part of the Milwaukee Bucks, and he's a football player. Along with, let's say, there's other players like Carolina Panthers' Christian McCaffrey wanted to own a NBA team or NHL team, or the Pittsburgh Steelers, Jalen Samuels wanted to own a NBA, NHL, or NBA team, along with, I know that Ben Rossenboro, the Pittsburgh Steelers, he's a great fan of the Pittsburgh Penguins, so he could own part of the Pittsburgh Penguins because that's hockey and he plays football. Other examples would be, let's say if Jeff Skinner wanted to own an NFL team, P.K. Shuko wanted to own a NBA team. Sidney Cross wanted to own an MLB team. Garrett Cole wanted to own an NFL or NBA team. Miles Brake, who plays for the Charlotte Hornets. Let's say he might want to own an NFL team. Lamal Ball, Lamelo Ball, and Lonzo Ball. Let's say they both want to go in together and own a hockey team. Then, and Stephen Curry wants to own the Carolina pa- part of the Carolina Panthers, which is a football team because he's a big fan of them. Then I think that that's okay because those examples are teams that they don't play each other and are not in the same sport. Because if you're in the same sport, as the owner that you own the team while you're playing, then it will kind of be weird and it won't be fair because you would know what's going behind the scenes of that particular team while you're playing. Thank you for listening to Brandon Sports Talk on Could a Professional Athlete Own a Professional Team While Playing? See you in the next episode. Bye!